Two more new faces added to the mix today at Cyclones Training Camp from Northland Ice Center. Reigning ECHL Defenseman of the Year, J.C. Sawyer, and fifth-year forward Dylan Hunter both made their first appearances in Cyclones jerseys. They both skated with Milwaukee's AHL camp last week. Cyclones head coach Jared Scaldi says Sawyer's skill will really give some offensive punch to this year's blue line crew. Well, you know, they're, they're both offensively gifted, and I think uh, J.C. Sawyer, obviously his stats and the, the, the things he accomplished last year, and I know he had a good camp up in Milwaukee, so, you know, you can see his talent level for sure, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a, he's a good-sized uh, kid too, so, you know, he, he's going to really help our power play, and, uh, you know, we're going to touch on some things uh, over the next couple of days before we get into the weekend, but, uh, you know, definitely you can see his skill level is, is there, and uh, you know, he moves the puck well, he's got a great shot from the point, and uh, he really sees the ice well. Despite last year's tremendous offensive stats, critics of Sawyer point out his minus 10 plus minus rating and assume that he's not the greatest defender. While he knows that he has to pick up those numbers, Sawyer explains that the statistics from last season were a matter of circumstance. Yeah, I think, well, it's, it had a bit to do with what was going on in Toledo, too. You look around, and, you know, I mean, there's a lot of minus guys in Toledo. It wasn't just myself, so... Uh... Obviously, it's something i got to look at and something i got to prove. Like, if I can be a plus player and have kind of the same impact on the offense, then uh, my job will be done. Dylan Hunter, meanwhile, also has very high scouting reports. He's billed as a top-line center. He joined camp today and impressed early on with his speed and puck control. Like many other players I've talked to this week, Hunter says he's very impressed with the overall size that this team has. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's some big boys out there, and uh, you know, most of our demon look like they're pretty mobile, and uh, you know, that's good to have for the year. Uh, you know, to you know, maybe scare and intimidate some uh, some teams. Hunter comes to Cincinnati with a hockey-rich bloodline. His father Dale spent nearly 20 years in the NHL. He was both a fan favorite in Quebec and Washington during his career. Dale was one of the most physical players to ever lace up the skates. In fact, he still owns the second most penalty minutes in NHL history, amassing nearly two and a half full days in the sin bin. I asked Dylan what it was like growing up in an NHL locker room and what he learned from the players and coaches that he crossed paths with. Uh, you know, it was, a, it was a lucky experience for me. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of kids... Uh, just love going to games. I got to do that every day. And, uh, you know, it's a good experience to see how hard those guys work and uh, day in and day out and how much it takes to, uh, you know, be the best you can. You know, most of the guys, I thought the best thing was just to have fun, you know, to have fun playing the game. Uh, you know, you have to work at it and stuff like that, but if you're not having fun, it's not worth it. And so I've been carrying that with me uh, for the last couple of years. As Hunter and the rest of the players continue to prepare for their exhibition opener on Friday at Wheeling, Coach Scaldi says it's just a matter of hammering their system home. you got to start right away with all the systems, and I think today was... Uh, you know, uh, the entries in our forecheck, and of course at the end we worked on our defensive zone play and kind of what we're trying to accomplish. So, you know, it's things we touched on last week with the, the smaller group we had. Now that we're getting more and more guys in here, uh, it's just reinforcing uh, a lot of that stuff, introducing us to the new guys and reinforcing for the guys that, uh, that have been here for over a week now. So, you know, it's still going well, and, uh, you know, a few more things to go over tomorrow before we get into the weekend.